Hello everybody, this is a tutorial on how to tie a simple but secure kite anchor knot. The method was introduced on YouTube about two years before this video. Check it out on YouTube by searching Premier Kites to get another perspective on how Val and Susan at Premier fashioned this anchor knot. For my tutorial, I'll show you how this is done with some still photos and then a practical demonstration. To practice this anchor knot at home, try using a thicker kite line or even paracord to train on. The knot is good for larger lines. Let's begin. Lay out a length of line as long as both of your outstretched arms. Understand that one end of this line would normally connect to the kite and the other end of the line would be coming from your kite reel or line bag. Now take the line and form it into a letter T such as you see here. You can make the loop of the T quite long. It actually works better if the loop is a yard or meter long. Now at the top of the letter T make a simple paired loop. That's one loop of two strands of line. When that is done, then pull the line through the loop in order to make a common slip knot. Pull about half of the line through the slip knot loop, but do not pull all of it through. In this image, the slip knot is in the center. Notice that there is a single loop on one side and a double loop on the opposite side. It sort of reminds you of a bow tie, doesn't it? Remember that the lines coming out of the top of the slip knot were to the kite and to the reel, and that part hasn't changed. Here they are again. To secure your kite to a ground anchor, you simply gather the three loops together and secure them on your anchor strap. A carabiner is a handy device to accomplish this. The carabiner itself is typically connected to a nylon webbed strap with sewn-in loops. In this picture, you can see that when the loops are cinched tight by the pull of the kite, the lines even out and the pulling force of the kite is transferred through the slip knot down to the three loops on the carabiner. The knot will hold. If extra security is desired, or you are tying off to a knotted piece of rope or cord, a simple lark's head can be used to distribute the pulling force of the kite to six loops instead of three. Now, let's see it in action. Out on the flying field, deploy the kite. Today I'm using a Premier Patriot 24 sled. I've made my letter T and now I form the small loop at the top of the T. I'm pushing that dangling line through to make a slip knot. Here are the three tails. They're brought together and clipped onto a carabiner. And again, but here the three loops are fashioned into a lark's head and clipped in. To undo the knot, release the loops from the anchor and separate them into the single and double loop configuration. Once this is done, pull hard on the single loop to undo the knot. And there it is. 
Try it. I know you'll like it.